it's party time. When I was a kid, I used to have a meat potato pie in some soup, the Heinz tomato, and it never seemed strange at all. So I never thought anything of it other than that it was normal. I mentioned it on Twitter the other day, and it's apparently not normal. It might be a Wigan thing, it might be a Northern thing. So today, I'm going to do soup and pie. I'm going to have some chips as well, because you have soup and chips. But I'm going to have Heinz tomato soup and hopefully butter pie. Yum. And I'll explain in a bit what, why a butter pie is called a Friday pie or a Catholic pie as well. All right. So I'm nipping out to get soup and, soup and pie supplies. Or a chip butter supplies. Yeah. Music was on in the pub then. I nearly cried. It was horrible. <laughs> so, a butter pie is um, potatoes, butter, onions uh, in a pie, basically. And it's called a butter pie because of that. But it's also called a Catholic pie, sometimes called an er pie, and it's Friday pie. But Lancashire Catholics. Um, created the butter pie because they're not allowed to eat meat on a Friday. I got in trouble off a mate the other week for eating pork on a Friday. <laughs> but, at the end of the day, uh, I'm not religious, but that's why it's called a butter pie. So it's vegetarian as well. I don't know if it's vegan, but these plate and pie are the fit. It's going in my soup. Yeah. Put some chips in the oven, forgot to turn it on. Going half and half on the pies. Whoa. Canola behinds, Tom Soup only. Cheap potty dipped into army soup. In conclusion, the winning pie for me in tomato soup is the butter pie. Delicious, perfect. Chips and soup, chip, butty and soup, delicious. Move test pie was alright too. I will do it again. Proper comfort food. Sorry to everyone for not having the Friday pie and mixing it, but it's a test at the end of the day. And I'm not religious.